today is attempt number two to get to LA. Um, I'm about to transfer all of my stuff from this backpack to this backpack. in the morning and my mom is taking me to the airport because I didn't want to park the truck there for uh, two weeks because I just cost a lot of money so mom's nice stuff to bring me yesterday I left at 5 and the flight was at 7 so I should get there pretty early and uh, I'm already checked in all I have to do is just go through security and I only have my backpack my suitcases uh, are already in LA thank you for dropping me off anytime Bucky mm -hmm. Have a great time. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Check it out, guys. Look who it is. Look who it is. <laughs> what you get, man? Finally, about to hop on the plane. What? It's honey butter chicken biscuit. What'd you get? <laughs> a protein shake. <laughs> Cash and use for flotation. All exit versus usable exit when exiting the airplane safety information. My personal opinion, our Instagram looks better. This was our second to last sample, we've already been through four samples. The only issue with this backpack was the uh, one logo size, if you can see. It's pretty big, the logo. So that's a five and a half inch logo uh, in height. So I adjusted it to three and a half inches tall. And the density of the material that we printed looks really nice, it's matte black, but it was cracking. I, like literally, I was like trying everything I could to crack it to test it, and I was able to crack it. And so we're going back into sampling and getting the logo correct to be sure no matter what you do to it, like it won't shatter, it won't crack. We're gonna launch these separate from our May 1st launch because I just wanna get them perfect. So we'll probably launch them like on their own, uh, maybe late May or early June. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, uh, this is a sample. Look at this, show them the zipper, show them the zipper. See it? Let's go. Alright guys, so all I've had today was one apple, and now it's about 11 o'clock my time, so I'm going to have my second, I'm going to eat for the second time today. What I've got is two scoops of protein in my Nuance shaker, and I have this cup of strawberries. I'm going to eat the whole thing. It's cost me seven freaking dollars right here, so I'm going to enjoy the strawberries, have a shake, and I'm wishing that I was eating here today, but I'm not. Last one. I can't believe it. We're here in LA. One of my favorite restaurants, and I got two entrees today. I'm really, really hungry. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, I got a side salad, which is massive. I added grilled chicken and grilled shrimp to get some extra protein. And for the dressing, I would normally have like a Caesar, but I got a fat-free Italian dressing. So really minimal carbs here, really minimal fat, high protein. And over here, I've got a roasted garlic chicken. It's like a garlic lemon butter sauce. So a breast right there. Slightly, it looks but slightly fried, right? Not even fried, just like hand fried, hand -fried almost. Probably decently high fat here. 
some broccoli, some potatoes, some carrots. Uh, so here I would estimate for this plate alone, 35 to 40 grams, of, about 40 grams of protein, maybe 20 grams of fat or so. And the potatoes, I would say 50 to 60 carbs. So I'm gonna enjoy both of these plates and then we're gonna go work out at Gold Shim tonight. Oh. Javon's currently replacing a car that he lost, but uh, I just made this official. Check it out on, oh, check it out on Instagram. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we go. On Instagram, uh, we are officially doing a Gold's Gym Venice thing at six o'clock, roughly six o'clock, six to eight p.m. Probably be like 5.45 to like 8.30 or so uh, with Javon, myself, and Travi. Travi's gonna meet, meet us out there. Travi Williams, who if you guys have not seen, is absolutely hilarious. Um, they're gonna meet him in just a bit. But yeah, post on Instagram, and I feel like this is kind of how the, the this trip's gonna go. You know, we're gonna sort of feel it as we go and uh, just have an awesome experience here. Very, I'm a very uh, impromptu kind of person. Very on the spot. And so that's how we're gonna do it. So yeah, the only thing that's like that's like set in stone is the Orlando meetup on April 30th because that one is put on by uh, Reveal International, who's a big like company that does events and things like that, and so they've been planning for a long time. So that one's going to be really well planned out, but everything else is going to be pretty much out on the limb and raw and fun and sporadic. So, yep. So you guys know, like Danae is sort of my that that part of me that's very organized and scheduled and like all that kind of stuff. She does all that for me, and so when she's not here, or she's like, I'm not at work or anything. I'm kind of just like, a, me and Javon are kind of the same, where we just sort of wing things. There he is right there. Did you get it? Got it. I'm currently sitting outside of Walmart. It's about five o'clock, and uh, we were in an Uber, Javon and I, and we stopped right there, and Javon opened his door, and this car over here, um, right the door hit the mirror and the mirror kind of fell off. So now I was trying to figure out what we're gonna do with that. Uber driver was like, I'm not involved, I'm good, <laughs> he took off. So I'm just kind of chilling here waiting for Javon to figure that out. I told him to just like look up the mirror costs because mirrors aren't expensive and just offer to pay them cash and uh, just get that done. It's not, it's, like, it's not on me, it's not here. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, you know you'd record if that happened to me. <laughs> yeah, you would. You're right, you're right, you're right. I got some buttered popcorn rice cakes. You guys on These are only... Uh, what's up, guys? How are y'all, man? How are y'all? How's it going, Chris? Good, good. What's your name? Big fans, man. Angel. Angel. Pleasure to meet you. Danny. Danny, pleasure to yeah. meet you guys, man. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so pick picked up this uh, Pepsi Zero 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 50 calories, the Karma wants are 50 calories, these are 35. So we're gonna have a few of these on the way to Santa Monica. Honestly, we probably have like an hour plus drive coming up. Made it to the Mecca. Yes, I remember you. Hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> hey, say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube, Mackenzie. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear that. <laughs> Thank you. We made it. All right, guys, look who we ran into. We got Travi Williams. No, that's not who this is. <laughs> this is obviously Russ Swole. <laughs> Russ Swole. I just came out here. What is he huge, man? Hey. What are you weighing these days? 135. 5'4". <laughs> four. Solid 135. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, uh... Around 175 right now, so hell yeah, hell just putting yeah. on weight. Looking so crazy for the looking longest. Crazy. So we're gonna get a uh, back and bicep workout in today. Javon's in here. We spent about 10, 15 minutes meeting everyone here in the front. Uh, Travis got some people that want to meet him real quick, and then I've been this. I, I literally, I disassembled the camera, put it in my backpack. Then I'm gonna reassemble it once we get in, so we don't get in trouble. And we're just gonna try to get some clips without having to go through all the hassle. The YouTube struggle, man. Uh, YouTube struggle. Even like right now, look, I'm, I'm vlogging myself and I'm hiding the camera with this guy's abs. So they can't see me with the camera. So uh, we're gonna go in there, get this workout in. Let's get it. 
Hey, say let's get it, Hey. Yo, what's up, guy? We here. With Christian Guzman <laughs> in Venice. Up, I was just walking right here in Venice on his own Instagram you, post. Man? I'm great. You? Good, 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 nice good. shirt, man. Looking fresh. Oh, Can't you, man. wait, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. What's nice. your name? Mustafa. Mustafa. What up, guys? How's it going? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, <look>. <laughs> <laughs> Italian, right? How do you say it? Oh, okay. Gucci's Italian? What's going on guys, it's now about 10 p.m. here in LA, meaning it's about midnight my time. Uh, I've been up since four my time, which is 2 a.m. Uh, LA time. And uh, Gold's Gym is awesome. I met a bunch, a bunch of people, a bunch of subscribers, heard some amazing stories, and just really enjoyed it. Uh, hung out with Travi a bit. Now the only issue there was, we were there for about two and a half, three hours, but I wasn't able to work out. I shipped talking to everybody, which I enjoy, don't get me wrong, but I did want to work out. I do need to get a workout in. Um, you know, summer shredding is about the prep and staying true to the diet, staying true to my workout regimen, my cardio, and I failed at doing that uh, earlier. And even though I'm literally so exhausted, guys, I was up at four this morning and four yesterday. I haven't really slept, but I'm here outside of Barbell Brigade. Uh, I didn't tell anyone I was coming here tonight because I just want to go in and out. I want to be in maybe like 45 to 50 minute workout, back and biceps, and I need to hit some cardio today. I feel really freaking bloated, like really bloated from the flying and just, I've been having to estimate macros and I just, I'm like frustrated that I haven't been as accurate as I can be. And it's not like I'm trying, but I can try harder. Um, it's gonna start with getting a good workout, actually sweating, not like, you know, it, it's hard when I'm trying to work out and start talking to people and talk to people and then try to get back into it mentally for me. So I'm just gonna shut everything off. I might set up like, I might record one set of everything and just like kill this workout. Um, and then I need to go home and edit this video, go to sleep and be up by like 9 a.m. tomorrow to come film again here at Barbell. I've got something at Barbell tomorrow morning. So that's the game plan. I'm about to walk in. Um, kind of hopefully just like put my blinders on, get everything done and uh, be able to get out of here pretty quick, so let's get it. What's up? Apolite How are you? Hey, it'll be in tomorrow's video. So what time tomorrow? Uh, like 9, 10, 9, 10. Okay, I'll make sure to All right. Thank you. I'm making my plan of action, so when I decide I'm getting up from this corner of the, of the gym, I'm starting, I'm starting. All right, we're going. Wide grip pull down, five sets. Dumbbell pull over, five sets. Seal row, five sets. Dumbbell curl, five sets. Hammer rope curl, five sets. And cable row for five sets. So we're doing six total movements, five sets each. That's 30 working sets. I'm gonna do it within an hour. Get everything I've got. Whatever's left in the tank is about to go here. And uh, we're gonna get it. Let's do it.
thumbnail, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, my battery's got about 3% left, and I just finished up that workout. It's about 10.45 right now, 10.45 p.m., and the workout was incredible. I ran through six exercises, five sets each, and I feel really good. I feel very accomplished that I came. Every, a lot, like, 85% of my body and my mind was telling me, you know, just take a rest, say it's okay, and you'll get back on track tomorrow, blah, 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 but, and I'm not trying to make this talk or make this speech about, oh, I didn't feel like coming to the gym today, but I came anyway, and I'm pushing through. No, the take home message here, guys, is you are responsible for you. Do not complain about opportunities that you miss. Do not complain if you come up short, if you're not giving your 110%. And if you know you could do something, if you know that you could have got this in, you could make it work, you could have studied an extra hour for that test, and at the end you fail, you lose, you get second, you fail that test by two points, and you know you could have gotten that, you could have passed if you would have studied just a little bit more. If you know that you're capable of something, do not cut yourself short. No one's gonna take responsibility. You have to take responsibility for your own actions. Don't blame things on others when you when you can actually do more. Your your everything, your all, your effort is more than you know. It's more than you know. So don't sit here and tell people I'm doing everything I can. There's just no way. There's no time in the day. Blah 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 blah. Make some time. Make. Don't even make time. Be smarter with your time. Time management. Get stuff done. Prioritize your life. What do you want to do? What What do you want to accomplish? I'm trying to balance this prep. The traveling we're doing, I want to meet you guys. I'll mad Alpha, the company, the gym. There's a lot going on, five videos a week. After this, I'm about to go edit. I haven't slept. And I'm prioritizing that. I'm gonna catch up on sleep later this week. Yes, I am, that's very important. But right now, my mind is set. I'm fixated on the end goal. I'm gonna better my channel. I'm gonna better everything for you guys. I'm gonna go and meet you guys and put that effort in and meet you halfway. You meet me halfway and I'll be there. That's what's important to me right now giving this effort in and I'm, I'm not going to come up short I'm going to be the best that I can be you need to be the best that you can be I'm going to go home and edit this video I'll see you tomorrow